What up, VBL? Self-taught, hiding behind some sunglasses so you can't see that I'm reading a bunch of big and complicated words. <laughs> VBL, rapbattles.com, semifinals, Mex versus Slayer. Who better say his prayers? For this, I can afford to take a page out of your book and go the comedy route. But just like your wallet, after you spend one bad joke, all I hear you yelling is help, daddy and mommy, I'm out. Cause you sit in your room in they house and type your life away night and day and badly rap. Odds are, you never leave that seat. And here I thought I was favored to win, but I'm starting to think Slayer's the one who's got the handicap. But your voice makes me laugh though, so I feel bad, bro. It's not just the accent, it's the tone and how you choose to inflect it. On second thought, you may not even have a choice because you barely look like you even hit puberty yet, bitch. So I'm taking that compliment back to damage the confidence act that you shop in as fact because you sloppily rap and my flow's quicker than the drop of a hat as you knock to your back like the constable rat that peeled the top of yours back because I chopped the react, I hate boxing with wax, the pulse of the league's opting for that sick-ass fucking house call where mech stopping is flat. And you don't need Mimic to back you, even though I guess that's easiest to do. Even though y'all the measliest of crews. I've been meaning to ask, why you bring up Harry Potter like every fucking battle when it's obvious you're the Weasley of the two? But you be giving dudes that solo work, digging up that dolo dirt, burying rappers deep in your Manolo purse. You're nothing but a walking, talking gay joke wrapped up in a bunch of polo shirts. I'm sick of this kid popping out his collar looking like a penis that you'd stick in a bitch. In fact, put a skin colored towel over his face and he looks like the uncircumcised dick of the dude that accidentally sprayed Rogaine on the tip of his shit. And with all that acne and some freckles, you'd look like you caught the syphilis quick. Fucking bitches to win. She even wrote an apology letter, man. And that's exactly what you get for fucking with bitches like him. Now I go to the gym. I lived at the beach all summer, so I rapped with no shirt because I choose it. Something he'll never do because he's scared we'll see all the bruises. He never stepped out of Big Brother's shadow so mommy and daddy abuse him. You should run away when you're 28 so this way you'll both be using the AP solution. But hold up, I'll lose him. AP is Adrian Peterson, a running back who beat his kids. He's old but elusive. He says, what's a running back? Jesus Christ. Probably just watching American football end up giving this fucking kid a shoulder contusion. He'll need surgery, but there he goes again, gripping tight. The polo ain't moving. But wait till you hear what his excuse is. I've got to bundle up because I live in Britain, so it's cold and rainy 99% of the time. Oh, all right. So that's why there's a whack black cloud around 99% of the time when you rhyme. Comments about tits? Dude, have you ever even bench pressed in your... Oh, hold up. Give him a chance to have his dad go out and buy him so he can try the weights, of course. You're like a little schoolgirl teasing a boy you like, making fun of my chest because you're mad that you can fly away with yours. How could this geek of a nerd excel? Stay-at-home atrophy got him weak as his words can spell. And it's funny because in addition to your chest, you got the fucking beak of a bird as well. Stick in your big nose in predator's business. I make kids rage quit. Even a summer with Uncle Sam couldn't save your whack life. So after I crush you and you poof like Houdini, I'll be asking who let Adrian Brody's little brother on our rap site. Now I can see him chilling with a bunch of his mom's brethren, bunch of wannabe Vietnam veterans, American Uncle Tom dressing play button pressures on some John Legend, bunkered down underground like there's a bomb pressing, reliving UK text glory like comms present, watching my battles knowing they can't win, so they thinking how to rob Mex then, and be thankful you got a calm present with a checkered past still mad about the revolution while well, I'm pleasant. <laughs> it's your future road that's about to explode, and I'm pressure, so dig up as much dirt on me as you want cause your name from the bottom of my shoe through the mud is what I'm dredging. You don't belong here and that's the type of drift that I'm catching. If playoffs were going by records, divisions, or disses that equaled all of Saddam's weapons, the Mex is admitting you barely fit in like fat bitches in some prom dresses. Peace. I'm done with that.